The other thing to, to think about when you do a landscape is where your horizon is. That is the most important decision that you're going to make. Your horizon could be anywhere. It could be here, it could be right in the middle, it could be on the third line, top or bottom. Um, it could be 40%, it could be here, and each of those horizons um, is going to change everything. The general rule of horizons is that if your horizon goes up, that means that you're turning your landscape into a groundscape. If you take that horizon and you move it down, that's going to be a skyscape. Now, if you're working on the groundscape, you better be better at perspective. Think about it. If this is your image, your horizon's up here, right? This is all ground. So if you have a pathway coming out, going around and down, you have to be able to make that pathway go back in perspective, right? And you have to be able to locate plants all along back here in perspective and make it all work. So if you move that horizon down, you have the skyscape. And for that, you better be good at shapes, right? So. If your horizon's down here, right, you're looking at sky, which means that you better be good at tree shapes. Maybe there's buildings, right? There's trees behind the buildings. Then there's more trees, and then there's clouds, right, floating up there. So this is going to emphasize the two-dimensionality, right? So. Each one has its own advantage and its own strength and its own skill set behind it that you're going to, to need to be able to exploit depending on where you put the horizon. Um, and I think that's very important to, to remember. Um, most people will probably find the skyscape easier than the groundscape, but the advantage is with the groundscape, you have a, a lot more tools you can work with and so on. Um, you know, you put it 50-50, you're risking, it's a very risky kind of composition, you have your work cut out for you.